What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video and yet another FIFA 21 review. So today we have got the Chelsea legend himself, Baby Essien. So this baby card I believe is for his time at I think Leon. I think that's uh, his uh, baby card there. And then obviously he moved to Chelsea for 7 years playing 247 games for them. As you can see we managed to pull him in a draft and we will get into the gameplay and go over his stats in just a second. Remember lads if you are new and you do want to help support the channel we do play reviews, pack openings, live streams, a whole lot of stuff on this channel. So if you guys, if this does sound like a channel you guys like, please first of all let me know down below what reviews you want to see. I know there's some people that suggested some reviews if you guys are actually watching this video uh, i may not be able to get all of the reviews that i have been suggested done just because i am very busy at the minute but uh we have we're, we're making time we're trying to get three to four videos out a day so if you guys have any cards maybe cheap cards that not much people have really discovered yet please let me know down below as you can see we are doing custom tactics uh for attacking we have them on cover center with balanced attack and defending we have them on cover center stay back while attacking in a four triple two four triple two this fifa is an absolutely phenomenal phenomenal formation to have so in my opinion if you can get this card use them in a 4 triple 2 now as we're searching for a match you guys will see his in-depth attribute details popping up on screen but he is coming in at 5 foot 10 with high high work rates which is a massive tick high high work rates for a cdm a proper box to box cdm preferred foot is right with three star three star now like i was saying as you can see on the screen his attribute details we're going to work from left to right in the meantime before we find the game obviously Obviously this is all pre-recorded um, but I have just left, left this part in just so I can actually show you guys this in-depth stats because I want my reviews to be as as much information as you can get. So 83 pace with 84 acceleration and 83 sprint speed, very well rounded pace especially for a CDM. With a shadow that would go to 93 pace as well, 94 acceleration and 93 sprint speed which I mean honestly for a CDM is more than enough. So I'll probably honestly say go for an anchor because I don't know it's really just what you really want. Um, but shooting wise, he's 65 finishing. Uh, don't use him as a center mid where he can. It's just obvious knowledge. Could use him as a center mid. You could get away with using him as a center mid. But you really, really, really want to use him as a CDM where he really excels best. As for passing, he has not great curve of 63 curve. But he does have 73 vision, which is decent. 83 short passing, 79 long passing. And that short passing, as you guys will see in the clips, and the 79 long passing as well, was absolutely absolutely incredible decent dribbling stats as well and some incredible defending and physical stats 90 stamina as well now as you guys can see we have finally finally found a match but as i was saying right like 90 stamina is absolutely exceptional 87 strength is absolutely exceptional 85 aggression is absolutely exceptional 79 jumping like i said defending physical pace is really where he excels looking at his stats he's literally only got is it five five orange stats and the rest are minimum green which is such a good box-to-box -box, well rounded card so as you can see in the first round we're facing a cr7 kdb telemans arthur you can see it on the screen a decent decent team uh this was the first round of draft obviously the first round usually the easiest the second round is where it starts to get harder obviously to get in the second round no shit Sherlock but you have to beat the person in the first round so obviously it just gets harder and harder as you continue so as you can see we uh, do go 1-0 up obviously I'm not going to show all the goals because this is an SEN review not a highlights video um, but I just wanted to put that in so you're going to see a lot of SEN's passes as a left CDM cover center get back we started on defense his passing is incredible. As you saw there, that was a faulty pass, but it still finds a way to go straight to his feet. I really, really loved his passing, and I feel like his 83 short passing and 79 long passing, I feel like it's a fake stat, dude. I said it. I feel like it's a fake stat. His passing was straight incredible, and the thing is with him, it's literally, he can do everything. He can do absolutely everything. I mean, he can defend absolutely sensational he can dribble he can run he can pass honestly absolutely nuts as you can see just the short passing is just nuts he passes it runs straight back into positioning obviously he has 87 defensive awareness as well and his positioning attacking positioning is 72 um but he does have really good awareness and is just a very very good card as you can see we're 3-0 up at halftime 
absolutely dominating of a minute, but we do go over to the play ratings, a 7.6 for SCN at halftime, and honestly, dude, he's deserved it, he's the second highest in the team, one out of one, tack one, out of one tackles one, 14 out of 14 passes completed, and seven out of seven triples completed. Absolutely sensational first half, he hasn't done one bad pass, he's done one out of one tackles, and as you can see there, exceptional tackle, just runs into the back of him, do not take that out of context, and literally just wins the ball, and as you can see we go for a sprint with him, like I'm saying, the pace he has, he can get forward, he really can get forward, and he can run quite a bit, as you can see once again we've got CR7 breaking here, CR7 for 5 and up, this is a bit dirty, ball roll, heel to heel, opponent literally just dives on the floor, so I mean it makes it easy for us, 6-0, and that is the rage quit going in to the next round, so obviously that first round, SC had one hell of a performance I believe it was two out of two tackles um, yeah two out of two tackles seven out of seven passes or seven out of seven dribbles at half time so I'm imagining by full time probably would have gone up a lot so obviously my opponent as you can see he made his account in October 2020 so we'll let him off he's obviously quite new to the game so we'll let him off a little bit there now we find another match basically instantly and now this is the quarter this is the semi-finals right no, this is the quarterfinals, the second round, aka the quarterfinals. We are facing a guest, so we're facing two people here, boys. Personally, I hate that. I hate that. I hate facing two people. And the team we're facing as well. We've got Ober, Blood, Clark Young. As you know, I'm an Arsenal fan. I love him in real life. Do not know how he got out downgraded. Scored 29 goals in all competitions. Won an FA Cup. Carried Arsenal. Without him, would be relegated. EA in their head? Nah, let's downgrade him. Jim down the pub has done these ratings, I swear. As you can see, SCN, a nice little knee there to Pickford. Um, I mean, it's a good it's a good team. My op opposition, opposition has, so uh, it will be a very big test. And I will tell you, this game was a lot, lot harder than the first game. But as you can see, we're off to a brilliant start with Bruno. And that is a cheeky, cheeky goal there. A very cheeky goal. Obviously, I like to keep the first goal or two in, unless SCN really is heavily involved in it. I just don't want to overfull the videos with my goals to out shine Essien's main stats. As you can see, the passing is nuts. As you can see, Essien again, like similar to the first game, we sprints forward with him, and he can do that. He really can do that. His passing's incredible. He passes, runs straight back into position. His defensive awareness is great. His tackling is great. His pace of 83, like I said, if you were to have a shadow on him, his pace would go to like 93, and as you could see just before, he passes it, runs up to receive a pass once again, passes it off. He's really like a holding midfielder. I feel like he's literally, it's hard to explain, right? So you know how teams like Liverpool have Henderson, without Henderson, they just don't do great. Henderson may not score or assist much, but what he does do is he's via Arsenal of Granite Xhaka, obviously, no any Henderson, but Arsenal of Granite Xhaka, um, Chelsea have Jorginho, right, like they're underrated, they do their job. As you can see, Essien as well gets a nice interception in there, but I feel like Essien does that plus more. He does that plus more. He does his passing job, but if you do not have him, he's just, he does his job so perfectly, but he's not a striker, so you may not notice him as much, if that makes sense. Because when you're playing a game, really you focus on your strikers, how good your strikers do, and how good your centre-backs do. You don't necessarily focus on how good your midfielders and CDMs do. Um, I feel like Essien, right, is not underrated, because he's a million coins, but he does his job, and watching back at this footage, I just realised an 8th rating. He's averaging a 7.8, 7.9 rating, and from EA is very hard to do. In real life, it's obviously very hard to do. He was honestly, honestly exceptional. Passing felt way more than 83 passing. He was absolutely rapid. His defending was incredible. His physical is absolutely incredible, boys. I really did enjoy this card. So as you can see on the screen right now, as for pros, Collins and recommended Kimsoft for the pros, it is his pace, his passing, and his defending and physical. We're not putting his dribbling nor shooting under a con just because that's not really con worthy because as a CDM, shooting's fine and 78 dribbling, 73 agility may not be great but he has 85 balance so he does turn his body very well. He's got good reactions as well. Dribbling, it's not quite good enough to be a pro but it's definitely not bad enough to be a con. As for cons, nothing. He's so well-rounded, he's box to box 
some people would say three star, three star is a con. But when you go buy a CDM, you necessarily, you just look for pace. You look for dribbling, or maybe not dribbling, you look for pace, passing, defending, physical, dribbling's a bonus. You don't go out to buy a CDM to go, oh, you better have five star weak foot or I'm not getting you, or four star, four star. It's not, that's not CDM's role. So no cons whatsoever for the CDM role. If you were to use them as a centre mid, then I don't recommend that. But if you were to use them as a centre mid, then the shooting would be a con. Um, passing could probably, the long passing and curve could be a bit more, just depends the formation, the dribbling could be a bit more, but as a CDM he perfectly does his job, he doesn't have any traits but still not con worthy because it's just, at the end of the day it's just traits, it's not a massive issue whatsoever. Boys, the recommended chem style is going to be a shadow slash anchor, literally leaving it up to you guys. A shadow will give him a plus 10 pace, so a shadow would put him to 93 pace, 95 defending, and like, uh, yeah, it would leave his physical the same. An anchor would give him just plus 5, not plus 10, plus 5 pace, but it will also give him a plus 10 strength boost. So an anchor would put him from 87 strength to 97 strength. If you want to be pretty fast with an anchor CDM with great defending and exceptional physical stats, or if you want a rapid CDM with exceptional defending stats and decent physical stats, I'm leaving that up for you guys. But rating out of 10 on the pros, cons, and how good he was, plus the value, we could keep in mind the 1 million coins. We're going to give him an 8.5 for reason, like card wise. Playing wise, value, well, not value wise, but like card wise and how good he was for me, he'd be a 10. He'd be a 10. But you have to keep in mind, he's 990,000 coins, 1 million coins. So if he was like 500k, a cheap icon, he'd be like one, he'd be a 10 out of 10. But obviously, the pros and cons, it's based on everything. That out of 10 rating is based on everything, price, everything. So if he obviously is very expensive, massive price to pay, but he gets the links, he's absolutely incredible. So for that reason, 8.5, he's an exceptional card. I'm going to say yes, he's worth it if you can save up for this card, and if you can buy this card before the end of, obviously maybe his baby card won't be so great at the end of the game, but he's absolutely exceptional and you guys will not regret it anyway lads it has been your boy davis hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and if you did make sure to smash a like and subscribe to help support the channel anyway lads until next time i'll see you later peace out boys